So dear representatives of organizers, co-organizers, organizing committee members, speakers, participants, and audiences. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, once again. Welcome to the 2023 World Wood Day Online Symposium and the fifth UFO Forest Product Culture Colloquium. I'm Shala Lee, Operations Manager of International Wood Culture Society and World Wood Day Foundation. I'm very honored to be your host for this opening session. Without further ado, please allow me to invite the following speakers who are representatives of the organizers, co-organizers, and organizing committee members for the opening remarks. The first speaker is Dr. Howard Rosen, Chair of International Wood Culture Society and World Wood Day Foundation. The International Wood Culture Society, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the 2023 World Wood Day celebration. World Wood Day is an exciting and unique cultural event celebrated annually on March 21st to highlight wood as an eco-friendly and renewable biomaterial and to raise awareness about the key role wood plays in a sustainable world through biodiversity and forest conservation. Each year's celebration has a theme, and the theme in 2023 okay. is wood and cultural okay. World Wood Day was first introduced in 2010. Beginning in person in 2013 in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, the in-person meetings were stopped after Austria in 2019 because of COVID. These meetings have been virtual each year since, and are planned to begin in person in Tokyo, Japan in 2025. Founded in the United States in 2007, the International Wood Culture Society is a nonprofit, non governmental, global international network of wood enthusiasts dedicated to the research, education, and promotion of wood culture. The International Wood Culture Society recognizes the importance of wood and wood use in our daily life, and attempts to raise public awareness of wood as an ecologically important material. Wood culture has a broad definition. The basic concept conveys the value in the way we use wood in our society. Wood culture explores the human usage of wood and wood products and wood-related environments. The motto, wood is good, helps raise public awareness of wood as an eco-friendly material. World Wood Day celebrations have been held in different places around the world. For example, 2014 was in Fujian, China, Odenpazari, Turkey, 2015, in Kathmandu, Nepal, in 2016, and Simri, Cambodia, in 2008. These celebrations provide several days of activities, include symposia, wood workshops, activities for youth and children tree planting, wood carving and turning, wood musical instrument performances, folk arts, furniture making, and many more. Thousands of people have attended these celebrations. Smaller regional celebrations have been held. So again, enjoy the virtual celebration and remember, wood is good. Thank you. The next speaker is Dr. Andrew Wong, IWCS Honorary Coordinator for Malaysia and Southeast Asia, and also the representative of the organizing committee. Thank you for your introduction, Charlotte. Good day and good evening to all virtual delegates from around the world. Welcome to the 2023 World Wood Day Online Symposium, come fifth IUPRO Forest Products culture colloquium of today and tomorrow. The 21st of March is the birthday of both the World Wood Day and the International Day of Forest, as we commemorate the vital role of wood and forest towards a climate-friendly society. I speak for the International Wood Culture Society and the International Organizing Committee of the 2023 World Wood Day Symposium come 5th IUPRO Forest Products Culture Colloquium. The International Wood Culture Society, through the World Wood Day Foundation, is the founder and organizer of this symposium colloquium. Traditionally, 
This symposium is held on the 21st and 22nd of March annually as part of our World Wood Day celebration. The World Wood Day Symposium has been held via Zoom since 2021 due to COVID. The theme of the 2023 World Wood Day is Wood in Cultural Heritage, which is echoed in much of the proceedings of the presentations you will listen to in this symposium over these two days. The 2023 Symposium and Colloquium is planned along the theme of Wood in Cultural Heritage, which gives us an opportunity to value the links that we, that our growing knowledge of wood science and technology has with wood and forest culture and the humanities, including that of non-wood forest products of the past, present, and even the future era. Therefore, the proceedings of this symposium carries about 10 relevant topics with the keywords product utilization, trade practices, building construction, wood durability, movable wooden components, wooden artifacts and designing as culture, education, craftsmanship, wood processing traditions, sustainable forest resource management, forest history, and archaeological wood culture. Where appropriate, these presentations would highlight the challenges and opportunities concerning instilling and sustaining cultural appreciation of wood, non-wood materials, and also forests. Lastly, I wish to thank the keynote speakers, the oral presenters, session chairpersons, and the dedicated members of the organizing committee whose names appear in the proceedings and program book that is available on the World Wood Day website. Also, my appreciation to the International Wood Culture Society Symposium Secretariat, including Mike Howe, Charlotte Lee, and their IT team, who ensured this meeting becomes a virtual reality. We are also grateful to the collaboration of the International Union of Forest Research Organizations, the International Research Group on Wood Protection, the International Association of Wood Anatomists, the International Academy of Wood Sciences, the International Society of Wood Science and Technology, the University of Natural Resources and Life Sciences of Vienna, Austria, Austrian Forest Association, the Wood Research Society of Japan, and the Estonian State Forest Management Center. So here's wishing everyone a successful online symposium and colloquium. Thank you very much. Wen Su Kim, President of International Academy of Wood Science, IAWS. Distinguished scientists and my fellow colleagues, uh, it gives me a great pleasure to convey my heartfelt greetings to all participants and organizing committee members of the 2023 World Wood Day Symposium. I'm also proud to be sharing this event with the IAWS fellows and many other eminent research institutions. IAWS has been closely working together with the International Wood Culture Society to enhance the integration of science and culture. Although we are not able to hold the symposium as a physical meeting for the past three years, however, we have demonstrated that the symposium is quite open, inclusive, and accessible to all relevant scientists and scholars. Personally, uh, I would like to express my appreciation to IAWS Academy Board Chair, Professor Katarina Cooper, for organizing a special session. I'd also like to extend my great gratitude to Professor Stavros Abramidis, Vice President of the IAWS, for his commitment as the session chair. In the special sessions, we'll also have the opportunities to listen to the three IAWS, IAWS PhD awardees presentation. In the history of the humanities, wood has not been highly appreciated when compared to stone, bronze, iron. Nevertheless, wood tells us where we are and what we are. It also tells us that our lifestyle and value systems should be redesigned and reset. 
However, I'm not sure whether we are clever enough to save Mother Nature and humanities or not. This symposium surely contributes to resetting our mindset. In this regard, I appreciate Charlotte Lee and the organizing committee members for the enthusiasm for this symposium. Hopefully, next year, we'll be able to hold the fiscal meeting free from virtual systems. Until then, please stay safe, healthy, and keep a glass for wine and beer. Thank you. The next speaker is Professor Ya Huang Ying, Executive Secretary of International Association of Wood Anatomists, IAWA. Hi, distinguished colleagues and friends. So it's my great pleasure with you in Beijing and also your cities. So on behalf of the IAWA, the International Association of Wood Anatomists, I would like to extend my warm congratulations on this grand opening of 2023 World Wood Day Symposium and the fifth Year for First Products Cultural Colloquium. First of all, I would like to express my gratitude to the organizers and the sponsors of this symposium for devoting time to this uh, very important event, which provide a great opportunity for wood culture and wood relevant communities to share and exchange research advances. The IAWA was founded in 1931 and now has members from more than 60 countries, playing a key role of uh, promoting the progress of uh, wood anatomy and wood science around the world. So it published IW Journal and also established the IW Bailey Award for the understanding papers published by early career researchers. So even in the last three years epidemic, the IAWA has shown her powerful scientific resistance at all aspects, including the conference organization and the research cooperation. Since the last year, IWA has newly established the Sharon Carquista Award for the best young wood anatomists. As a leading force in wood research, IWA has been long-term dedicated to maintain good collaboration with international organizations, such as the UFRO, including UFRO Research Unit of First, First Products Culture, the International Botany Society, and IAWS. The IAWA and the UFRO are working together to organize the co-sponsored symposium of a UFRO Division 5 conference in Australia this year, June, and also the UFRO World Congress in Stockholm next year. Exploring the relationship between wood cultural heritage and the humanities, associated natural sciences is crucial to strengthen our appreciation on better conservation and the sustainable utilization of forest resources. So, the IWA will continue to work with the UFRO and other international organizations to being very active, involving into this great career with all of your support. Finally, wish the 2023 WWD Symposium a big success. Thank you very much. Thank you. Pekka Sarampa, coordinator of UFO Division 5 Forest Products. Yes, thank you, Charlotte. Um, good afternoon, good morning, even good night around the globe. And also on my behalf, welcome to this 2023 online World Wood Day Symposium and also the fifth UFRO Forest Products Culture Colloquium. Yes, I'm Pekka Sarampa. I'm coordinating the UFRO Division Number 5 Forest Products. 
and I'm I'm very grateful to the symposium organizing committee for inviting to give this speech and I especially want to thank symposium secretariat and Charlotte for keeping me so well updated of the program. And thank you to all individuals, organizations mentioned already, and also presenters who have put together the fascinating two-day program. I'm probably going to repeat everything what has been said, but uh, research in forest products culture improves people's relationship with nature and opens new ways to understand forest products from various perspectives. And it's very diverse, includes many disciplines, and this we can learn from today's and tomorrow's program. And as Howard Rosen said in the beginning, World Wood Day celebrations and also this symposium are an important way to increase people's awareness of wood and its diversity. And because of the diversity, I put this background, which is actually cross-section of Sapele, showing both the diversity and the appealing beauty of wood. The theme of this year's symposium and colloquium is to emphasize the importance of wood in cultural heritage. Wood in our cultural heritage is under a constant physical and chemical transformation and it can deteriorate over time. The extent of deterioration of wood cultural heritage varies with agents causing the decay and weakening. It also uh, depends on species and environmental conditions. Understanding uh, the anatomical, biological, physical and chemical characteristics of wood in cultural heritage contributes to the diagnosis and conservation of it. During this symposium, we will learn a lot about these physical and chemical properties and how we can preserve our precious cultural heritage. Equally important is also education and training in understanding the forest products culture. Not only cultural heritage, but the role of wood and especially in modern building as a carbon storage is an important part of many national bioeconomy strategies and it is also high in the agenda of European Union. Sustainability is sometimes limited only to environmental sustainability but it is composed of three pillars economic, environmental and social sustainability. Cultural sustainability has become a growing priority within sustainable development agendas and is now often described as the fourth pillar, equal to social, economic and environmental concerns. We need a living heritage and the World Wood Day celebrations is a unique way to promote wood culture. We can learn a lot from the past of the best practices representations, expressions, knowledge and skills, as well various instruments, objects and artifacts. In our division uh, at UFRO, Division 5 Forest Products, we have altogether 11 research groups and one of those is dedicated to forest products culture. It has been an integral part of UFRO since it concerns the foundations of how people learn about forest products and use of them. Uh, the activities are related to education and promotion of the positive aspects of wood, such as the beauty, strength <clears throat> and the benefits of wood to ecology and environment, but also the historical and social aspects of wood use. Please visit our division website and consider if you would like to become an active member in any of our research groups or, or working parties. And as Yafang Ying mentioned, we also have a research group in wood anatomy. Finally, I wish you all an enjoyable meeting, symposium, exciting discussions. Thank you.
So the next speaker would be uh, Dr. Elizabeth Johan, coordinator of U4 Unit 9.03.02 Forest Culture. Welcome to all of you. And it was replaced by fossil fuels in the 20th century, which was essential to most aspects of life. Even today, it enjoys a high reputation to its properties as renewable climate neutral raw material. The theme of this year's conference, Wood in Cultural Heritage, therefore has both historical and burning current significance. As coordinator of the UFO Research Unit, Forest Culture, and co-organizer of this symposium, I would like to welcome you to the World Wood Day Online Symposium 2023 and the fifth UFO Forest Products Culture Colloquium heartily. For several years now, we have considered it an honor to support and actively take part in this global event organized by the International Wood Culture Society and the World Wood Day Foundation. The research unit, uh, Forest Culture, generally has the task to collect and disseminate information on the ancient and modern forest cultures or cultural aspects of forestry including the ancient interaction between human and forest over the world. It also intends to uncover the tree and or forest components of cultural landscape in local cultures in the world and the important non-wood products deriving from forests and woodland. Forest and wood belong together closely and are inseparably linked and the culture that arises from sustainable forest management continues seamlessly in the versatile and artistic processing of wood and non-wood products. This year, too, the wealth of papers submitted shows the wide range of research uh, work and deals with wood and the forest. This forum is therefore one of the few in the world that illuminates the entire chain from the raw material to the final product uh, in its various facets, and moreover brings the individual researchers together. Unfortunately, due to teaching obligations, I will not be able to attend this meeting this year. I am particularly sorry of this because the program is very promising. However, I wish the conference an interesting and exciting course and hope to be able to attend or read to listen to some of the papers submitted. Thank you very much. Good luck. The next speaker is Dr. Jorgen Kusming, representative of the Forest Department Estonian State Forest Management Center, IMK. Thank you, Charlotte. Dear participants, the importance of the forest for human society has never been as significant as it is in these years. The three main values of sustainable forestry, ecological, economic, and social culture, have been recognized through history with different emphasis in different periods of time and in different regions. The forestry content of these three terms has also changed over time. Forests play a key role in maintaining biodiversity among other ecosystems of the world. The importance of which is increasing of recent times under the conditions of climate change. The use of wood plays a decisive role in mitigating climate change. Wood offers a substitution effect for non-renewable natural resources. Only the smart, change-oriented and forward-looking actions of silviculture guarantee us a stable supply of wood in the future. In an increasingly urbanized society, the forest also plays an important role as a provider of a physical and mental recreation environment. The role of forests in culture 
is an extremely diverse subject area, which will be opened up by the following presentations. Our expectations of the forest grow over time, but the values offered are a limited resource. This situation puts higher expectations on the forest owners and silviculture in general. The role of the scientists is to find solutions for the most diverse and effective use of the benefits offered by the forest. Our seminar is also an important step in this direction. I greet you on the World Forest Day and wish you a meaningful seminar. Thank you. Michael Gretner, a senior scientist of the University of Natural Resources and Life Sciences, Vienna, Boku, and the editor-in-chief of International Journal of Wood Culture. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Charlotte. Yeah, welcome to all of you. Um, and really great thanks to Charlotte, Mike, and the team to organize again this very nice symposium. But I would like to um, use my, my short time to advertise our nice journal, which is strongly related to the society and uh, of course to, to all of us, because we are interested in wood culture and the International Journal of Wood Culture is a nice platform to, to publish uh, your manuscripts, your, your papers. We have heard about culture and stuff like this. So all aspects of wood and other plant materials and stuff like this. Uh, are really <clears throat> um, interested, interesting for the for the journal to be published. So topics like like you can see here at at the uh, at the symposium now <clears throat> are really what we are expecting. And if we have a look uh, to the the past time, we started with the volume one with nice twelve papers. Volume two just out now, uh, the printed version. Um, with six papers and volume C, uh, Marta will give you a nice uh, overview on this. So in between, next next to me, we have nine nice associate editors helping us to, to organize all, all the necessary work. So we are really hoping to receive your manuscripts uh, quite soon, maybe from, from also the topics of your talks here and to see in the in the journal. So that's from my side, many thanks and have a very nice symposium. Is Dr. Mata Dominguez uh, Delmas, I'm sorry if I pronounced wrong, guest researcher at the Autonomous uh, University of Barcelona and the University of Amsterdam and guest editor representative of IJWC special issue. Mata, the floor is yours. Yes, thank you very much, uh, Charlotte, for the kind introduction. So yeah, hello, uh, everybody. Uh, good morning, evening. Uh, I, I also want to welcome you all to this celebration of uh, the World Wood Day, in which we are going to have very interesting presentations about many different wood-related topics and cultural expressions also. So. I also want to start saying that the study of wood in the cultural heritage allows us to answer questions about our cultural past. And this knowledge brings us closer to our ancestors and the decisions and choices they made. And therefore, it helps us to understand our present world as well. So the relationship and the interaction of humans with the woodlands and with wood is in essence what I think that we celebrate today. And now I want to share my screen. So yeah, today I've been offered the opportunity to announce that the special issue of uh, the From Forest to Heritage Conference that we celebrated in Amsterdam in April last year is going to come out very shortly now. And uh, while well, everybody's working very hard behind the scenes to have this special issue out in uh, sort of the anniversary of the conference, so we expect in the end, uh, yeah, at the end of uh, April or early May, it will be available. And uh, well, together with me, uh, Dr. Eva Daly from the University of Copenhagen and Dr. Christoph Hanecka from the Flemish Heritage Agency in Belgium are the guest editors of this special issue. 
And uh, I want to, uh, well, look back a bit, uh, bring you back to this conference last year. So yeah, the From Forest to Heritage Conference brought together a wonderful mixture of scientists, conservators, archeologists, historians, and also practitioners working on different aspects, all of them uh, of wood in cultural heritage context. So we had 102 on-site delegates and 287 registered online. So for such a topic, I mean, this was quite a, a big audience. Uh, so we were uh, very satisfied because this reflects the high level of interest that, that this topic generates uh, wood in the cultural heritage. So in, uh, we had 86 contributions at the conference and they all cover diverse topics within seven themes that, that we proposed. And they all represented a wide geographical uh, spread and, and also temporal range. And what we liked very much about this conference is that uh, most of the talks demonstrated uh, how research on wooden objects and structures results in a deeper understanding, an understanding of our past and had a high degree of um, uh, interdisciplinarity, which is what would in the cultural heritage, uh, in essence, is also, it's a very interdisciplinary field and we need to bring together people from different uh, backgrounds and disciplines to, to exchange and um, and to enrich each other. So yeah, we just want also to extend our thanks uh, to people who helped us those days, uh, Oriol uh, Lopez Bulto and Roberta D'Andrea, and of course to all the organizations that made the provided funding and made this conference uh, possible. And uh, of course. We are deeply grateful to the International Journal of Wood Culture for hosting our special issue. We thought this was the perfect journal for, 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 for such a special issue or, or proceedings. And uh, they are doing a great job helping us with everything. And of course, all the papers are fully open access and for free for the authors, which we found uh, just basic and very important to, to, to launch and, and, and to reach out uh, a larger audience. So it's a very inclusive way to produce science, we think. And uh, lastly, I want to announce uh, that um, a second edition of the From Forest uh, uh, to Heritage Conference is going to take place in Helsinki next year. So it's gonna be organized by um, Panu Savolainen from Aalto University and Thomas Akala from University of Eastern Finland. So we are delighted that this uh, conference took off and will have continuity. It's the best uh, uh, yeah, uh, output that we could have expected, in fact. And um, well, I hope also to see you all there in Finland next year. Thank you very much.